Hi, welcome to the In Industry Astrology Full Moon Forecast for October of 2022. The moon has been waxing, growing bigger and brighter. The energy is expanding. How are you feeling? The moon is waxing, and at 1.54 p.m. on October 9th, the moon will reach opposition with the sun and then begin to wane again. Hopeful, excited, ready for starting something new, something where you're growing or learning. This full moon is a big blessing, actually. It's one of the best full moons that we have this year. It's the Sharad Purnima, the, the great um, full moon of Lakshmi, when the light of the full moon is saturated with Amrita, this nectar of immortality, of vitality and abundance. It's a time of prosperity. It's a harvest moon. And it's a time to recharge our energy, to harvest in a way some kind of blessing that is going to carry us through the winter. And so Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, is connected to this full moon. As well, this is the Rasa Lila, when Krishna danced with the gopis all night in ecstasy. So this is a great time to catch some moon rays, go out, socialize. It's also in the Nakshatra, the Vedic lunar mansion called Revati, Revati Nakshatra star of nourishment and sort of a guiding star, a place of refuge, finding lost animals, um, shepherding um, travelers to the right places so they're safe. And so there's something um, very nourishing and very protective about this full moon. It's also positioned in Pisces sidereal Pisces with Jupiter right now, which Jupiter is at um, a very bright stage in his cycle because he's been retrograde, he's about to station. And so when the moon joins up with Jupiter, they call this, well, actually it's a Gajakeshir Yoga because also we have Venus and Mercury aspecting into this full moon, creating so many benefic qualities um, so many possibilities. So this is a, a very auspicious full moon to start something new, uh, especially education, because the, of all the benefics as well, it creates a Saraswati yoga, the, another aspect of the goddess that has to do with education and sound language communication. If you would like to know more about this Jupiter in Pisces, I have pre-recorded classes, plus I have another class coming up soon. This is going to be on the 16th, and we're going to be talking about these upcoming eclipses. They're very important to make big steps in our evolution, changes that can be really long-lasting and good changes. It's a two-hour live Zoom class with the possibility to ask questions and it's including horoscopes for all 12 Vedic signs, so I hope to see you there. The most suspicious time of this full moon is before 1.54 p.m. Pacific time on October 9th. So it's actually the night before in the United States, October 8th in the evening is when um, the most auspicious moon rays are shining. So to catch those, definitely get out there. It's a great time to charge your crystals. Um, salt water is a, a great um, helpful tool for absorbing this moonlight. Also milk, um, especially creamy milk, kheers, rice puddings and things traditionally are put out to absorb this um, nectar. And this nectar is very special. It's said to have the 16 kalas, um, this very special special divine properties, human qualities like love and compassion and um, courage and honesty and generosity, all these um, qualities that bring happiness and fulfillment to your life. So yeah, don't miss this opportunity. Um, get out, connect with others. Speaking of eclipses, there is a powerful combustion of Venus coming up. Venus is ending her morning star cycle now. She's been invisible for quite some time, but she's actually coming in contact with the sun, sort of going into the underworld, going through her death and rebirth process on October 22nd. And this is actually also the day that Saturn turns direct. So there's something very powerful happening around October 22nd when it comes to, it could be financial situations, relationships, artistic expression. Um, women's issues, 
as well. But then just three days later, we also have a solar eclipse with that combust Venus. And so, yes, there is definitely something very transformative happening there. You know, solar solar eclipses are um, often omens of big, big collective cycles of change. But they can also bring big relationship changes on a personal level. So this could be a pretty important um, eclipse season for relationships and um, finances. And so let's just see what the tarot cards have to say about this upcoming Shorad Purnima in Urevati Nakshatra. Okay, so the first card that came through is the Two of Coins. Fluctuations, uncertain ground, financially in particular, or, you know, this eclipse season, it's really coming. We're already feeling the effects, especially after the full moon. And so instability, uncertainty, shocking changes wild cards and then the queen of cups there it looks like that amrita barka the rain of nectar coming down the watery energy of lakshmi the one who gives et eternal youth and spiritual nourishment But then also next to her is that Princess of Swords. Thinking about that Venus involved with this full moon and Mercury and Saraswati Yoga. Venus is debilitated, even though she's with this exalted Mercury that gives Nietzsche Bunga, but there is something about her transition, her combustion now, going down into the sun and, and losing her identity as this powerful or independent um, morning star and coming to be reborn into evening star, a very different flavor of Venus. And so there is something about her searching her identity, going into the underworld there. And this may be causing anxiety. And this may not just be about relationships. This could be around definitely a financial issues or um, creative expression. Okay, well, let's take a look. A changing paradigm, a new approach. There's a churning of the ocean, the great snake of time has come to stir things up in our hearts and to open a new chapter of possibility. Connect with the nourishment of your inner mother. Rest in the not knowing as being perfect and just as she would like. There's no need to control or try to build the perfect solution. Allow for the change to occur. Trust you will be guided home. Thanks for joining me for the Anandashi Astrology Full Moon Forecast. I do offer one-on-one -on -one, um, Vedic Astrology readings and Tarot readings online. You can book um, with me on my website, anandastrology.com. I'll also leave a link in the description window of YouTube below. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so and get on my newsletter. It's free. I offer a lot of um, more content on Instagram and Facebook as well. And... Um, yeah, do check out my class. It's coming up. It's around the corner around Rahu and Ketu and these um, big shifts that are occurring in the next year 
and a half. So I hope to see you soon on the next new moon solar eclipse. Take care.